skyscrapers have been reaching up to the clouds for decades, always trying to be taller than the last one. Now, there's a huge new idea for a skyscraper in Saudi Arabia that could be two kilometers tall. Some people think this is amazing, but others are not so sure. They wonder if it's really necessary or if it's just too much. Let's look at why this super tall building might cause more problems than it solves. Saudi Arabia is known for its ambitious construction projects, ranging from amusement parks to skyscrapers, all aimed at showcasing the country's modernization efforts. Now the country is planning to construct a record-breaking skyscraper. The proposed skyscraper surpasses the ongoing construction of Kingdom Tower, which is planned to be one kilometer tall. Kingdom Tower, located in Jeddah, is being designed by Adrian Smith, the architect behind the Burj Khalifa. Saudi Arabia is experiencing a construction and mega-project boom, with projects like King Salman International Airport, Niam's mega-projects including The Line, Trojena, Oxagon, and Sindala, and others underway. These projects aim to transform the country's infrastructure and economy. King Salman International Airport aims to become one of the largest airports globally, covering approximately 57 square kilometers. By 2030, it aims to serve up to 120 million passengers and handle 3.5 million tons of cargo by 2050. The line is a futuristic city concept developed by NIAM, a visionary project in Saudi Arabia. It's designed to house around 9 million people across a footprint of 34 square kilometers. Oxagon serves as a crucial port and logistics hub for NIAM, which is part of Saudi Arabia's broader strategy to transition to renewable energy sources. Sindala is part of a group of islands within NIAM, each with its unique vision and design. It covers a vast area of approximately 840,000 square meters, highlighting its scale and potential impact on tourism and real estate development in NIAM. The backing of the project by Saudi Arabia's Public Investment Fund, or PIF, suggests strong government support and alignment with broader national development goals, such as Saudi Vision 2030. The Riyadh skyscraper project is part of a broader trend of massive developments across Saudi Arabia, including NIAM, a $500 billion smart city project involving British architects like Zaha Hadid Architects and Foster & Partners. The decision to build the proposed skyscraper in Riyadh, Saudi Arabia likely stems from several factors. Building the world's tallest skyscraper can be seen as a symbol of progress. Holding the title of the world's tallest building can bring significant prestige and global recognition to a country. It can serve as a landmark symbolizing Saudi Arabia's place on the world stage and its aspirations for the future. Saudi Arabia has been actively seeking to diversify its economy away from its heavy reliance on oil revenue. Investing in large-scale construction projects, including iconic buildings like skyscrapers, can help attract foreign investment, boost tourism, and stimulate economic growth in other sectors. Such a monumental structure can serve as a tourist attraction, drawing visitors from around the world and stimulating growth in the hospitality and entertainment industries. Additionally, it can contribute to the development and revitalization of urban areas, attracting businesses, residents, and investors to Riyadh. The proposed skyscraper is planned to be situated close to King Khalid International Airport, which is north of Riyadh. Other international design firms, including SOM, were also considered for the project. The estimated cost for this mega project is around $5 billion. The design competition for the skyscraper has a $1 million entry fee and has already invited several top architecture firms to participate. Foster & Partners, a renowned architecture firm, is leading the design of the proposed two-kilometer tall skyscraper in Riyadh, Saudi Arabia. To put it into perspective, this new skyscraper would stand twice as tall as the Burj Khalifa, marking a monumental leap in architectural achievement. The proposed skyscraper would dwarf Foster's current tallest project, the 423-meter-tall J.P. Morgan Chase World Headquarters in New York, highlighting the scale of this endeavor. The architecture firm has experienced significant growth, particularly in the Middle East region, with revenue increasing from 83 million pounds to 118 million pounds in the year ending April 2023. The architectural design is likely to be sleek and futuristic, with considerations for both aesthetic appeal and structural stability. While specific design details may vary, the goal would be to create an iconic landmark that stands out on the horizon. Due to its immense height, the footprint of the skyscraper would need to be substantial, potentially covering a significant area of land in Jeddah. 
Its base would function as its backbone, containing vital infrastructure such as plumbing, electrical cables, and lift shafts. The foundation would need to be built to sustain the building's huge vertical weight, while still providing efficient vertical mobility for residents. With approximately 500 stories, efficient vertical transportation becomes a significant challenge. Innovative lift systems such as double-decker lifts and sky lobbies may be employed to facilitate the movement of people throughout the building efficiently. High-quality materials including advanced steel and concrete composites would likely be used in the construction of the skyscraper to ensure structural integrity and durability over its immense height. Although the concept is quite captivating, there are several reasons why it might be considered unnecessary. The sheer scale of a 2-kilometer skyscraper poses numerous practical challenges, including immense costs, engineering complexities, and logistical hurdles. Building such a structure may not align with practical needs or urban development goals, especially considering alternative solutions for housing, infrastructure, and sustainable development. The construction and operation of this skyscraper would have significant environmental consequences, including high energy consumption, resource depletion, and increased carbon emissions. In an era of growing environmental awareness and efforts to combat climate change, prioritizing sustainable building practices and urban planning may outweigh the benefits of constructing a towering skyscraper. It may disrupt existing urban landscapes and communities, potentially overshadowing surrounding buildings and altering the character of the city. Urban planning should prioritize human-scale development, community well-being, and the preservation of cultural heritage rather than pursuing grandiose architectural endeavors that may not serve the broader needs of society. Rather than focusing on vertical expansion, urban planners and architects could explore alternative solutions for accommodating population growth and urbanization, such as mixed-use developments, compact city designs, and sustainable transportation systems. These approaches promote efficient land use, social cohesion, and environmental sustainability without the need for excessively tall skyscrapers. Building a structure as tall as 2 kilometers introduces inherent risks related to structural integrity, safety, and emergency response. Ensuring the safety and well-being of occupants and visitors in such a towering skyscraper would require unprecedented engineering solutions and rigorous safety measures which may not be feasible or cost-effective compared to more conventional building designs. The future of the 2-kilometer skyscraper in Saudi Arabia is uncertain, with several possibilities and challenges ahead. On one hand, technological advancements could make the project more feasible by overcoming engineering challenges and introducing innovative materials. Environmental concerns arise due to the skyscraper's massive energy consumption, despite efforts towards sustainability. Alternative scenarios include shelving the project entirely in favor of more achievable initiatives or scaling down the design to a more practical size. Factors influencing the project's future include Saudi Arabia's economic outlook, technological advancements, and global trends in urban development, particularly regarding sustainability. Ultimately, whether the skyscraper becomes a symbol of human achievement or a cautionary tale depends on Saudi Arabia's priorities and its ability to overcome the project's challenges. Only time will reveal the fate of this ambitious endeavor. So, will the super tall skyscraper in Saudi Arabia ever become a reality? Maybe, but building something this high is super risky and expensive. It's better to focus on building cities that are good for the environment and make life easier for everyone, not just a few people living in the clouds. If Saudi Arabia moves forward with this plan, it has the potential to amaze the world by making it a truly historic event. What do you think? Is a 2-kilometer skyscraper a good idea? Let us know in the comments below, and don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching.